They can't let you leave. Welcome to Visa Vision. And today we're talking about. They can't let you leave. They can't let you leave. Black men are starting to wake up and realize that. This plantation is designed to control and destroy us. A lot of us have gave a lot and have sacrificed a lot only to receive nothing. The system that we the system that we are under oppressed by it gives us as black men nothing and when I say nothing I mean it gives us the right to do anything see the white man he has more rights than the average black man. He's able to hire an attorney if he wants to pursue with business ventures and he's able to get into proper contact with the proper people to establish things he needs to establish. Now, where the black man is left out of it is the system that he's in refuses to teach him the necessary steps and requirements to obtain the power. And if he do try to obtain it, there is roadblocks financially that sets him back. So what it does is it leaves the community without the proper people in position to build the empire. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can go and get me some CEOs, but when the people is under attack, <clears throat> their mind is focused on survival first. And see, this plantation is set up to keep your mind in survival mode. It is set up to keep you in an infant state of mind. It is set up to let you be controlled by your women and their emotions. It is set up to make you pay without it, without it paying back any benefits. So we as black men, we are allowed to buy liquor, buy clothing, buy a rental spot, buy some shoes. Buy some cigars. But see, you're going to be taxed too. And you're going to sponsor white men whose job is to keep us in this position. See, this plantation that we must escape starts with the mind. See, as long as we like all the plantation gadgets that they are giving us, then we will never pull the ranks tight. See, we are, we have the right to be consumers. And our women loves consumption. And consumption 
splurge and decay wealth and see the black man needs wealth because he has to build the proper institutions that specifically for the development of the black man. We can't live off a European educational system. The European educational system that teaches us to have our best interests for the Caucasian system. How are we expected to have the best interest for ourselves if we spend eight hours a day being indoctrinated to be better for a white society? See, the people who have a lot of good talking points, they are eaten off of white supremacist views. You know, they look at it as if, you know, they can get more this, there's more money, and more jobs for these people, and this. but at the same time, it is an indoctrination. It don't benefit the, the everyday average black man. So what? See, I look at the society that we're in. And as our homes are robbed of fathers, I don't see the school system making that a priority to teach them. As our communities are right, raped and robbed of resources from immigrants, I don't see the school system teaching black folks how to um, segregate their money from other people and build their shit first. I don't see that coming from the school. So if the school's not teaching common sense, then it's teaching propaganda. And see, that goes all the way back to leaving the plantation. Because to ask you to continue to participate in the buffoonery and things that's detrimental to us is to ask you to stay on the plantation, to serve the master, to surrender my mind, body, and soul to an enemy of our freedom. See, we have to get away from the plantation and pay attention to those who try to keep us on the plantation. The plantation can never repay us for the bloodshed that it has put on these communities in America for the destruction that it has caused, for the laws that it has put on the people to oppress them, for the lack of education and the lack of land which created the chaos that we see now. America, the white people in America, is guilty of that. And we are taught to forget it, to think about football, think about basketball, think about who going to sing at the Super Bowl and caskets are dropping. Souls are crumbling. People have lost focus. 
See, your oppressor is focused on one thing. And that's how this group of people can bring me some money. How this group of people can serve me. And when you wake up every morning, you are waking up to serve the interests of these people. And never to serve the interests of themselves. So until the next time.